This was Outering Road in 2013. The road was a living nightmare, the source of a lot of hassle and inconvenience among many road users. When there is traffic, in terms of for those who are using public means, it's more expensive because the bus is expensive. For those who are driving, it's more petrol. We lose maybe about Kenya shillings, uh, 50 million a day just on traffic jams. Most people are late to work, uh, school children are also late uh, to school, and it has literally affected the whole lifestyle uh, of the people of the city. Something needed to be done. Yes, you know that side is very heavily populated. Uh, people have built flats, you know, heavily populated, and a lot of people living there. And so, without that altering, Nairobi was going to be a mess all the time. This was realized on 22nd January 2015, when President Uhuru Kenyatta launched the construction of the Outering Road project. Katika kila kona ya Nairobi kutusaidia kulete decongestion katika mji wetu mkuu. Without that altering, Nairobi was going to be a mess all the time. People miss their flights, you know, flying out of the country. And so it is it is something which will positively impact on development in a very big way. Kura recognizes the importance of urbanization and the infrastructure is key uh, to meeting the needs of people who are moving from rural to urban migration. Outering road, for a long time, it used to be outering road in the sense that where it had, I had reached, this was the road at the boundary of Nairobi or the outskirts of Nairobi. But as Nairobi has developed, it has now become sandwiched in between the estates and it has resulted in a lot of uh, congestion. Because of the way Nairobi has grown, the government has come up with a plan to decongest the city of Nairobi. The project is a joint venture between the Kenyan government and the African Development Bank, who partly financed this project. Well, we certainly need our partners because roads are very, very, very expensive to do. If you take, for example, Outer Ring Road, we are doing it together with the African Development Bank. This project indeed demonstrates the government of Kenya and ADB's commitment to the development of infrastructure in Kenya. This is a transformative road project expected to enhance transport efficiency in the city of Nairobi while creating conducive business environment and improving travel condition. Sino Hydro Construction Company and Lea International are the other key players in this project as the contractor and supervising consultant, respectively. The project has been touted as a game changer in Eastlands. It promises real transformation. People and uh, are given Eastlands a very bad name. There is no security, there is nothing. People there, you can be mugged, your car can be stolen. But now, you can see people use this road from either both sides, from the upper Nairobi side and Eastlands, so we are exposed. It's the biggest thing the government has done to us. We are very grateful and uh, we are going to see more because if we, are, uh, we, we can get the fruits that we are getting, this shows us that uh, we are going on the right direction. The Kenya Urban Roads Authority, established in 2007, is the authority that is spearheading the Outering Project. Kura is a state corporation under the Ministry of Transport, Infrastructure, Housing and Urban Development. Kura was established with a mandate of uh, management, basically, of urban roads. 
So as we manage those urban rooms, we develop new ones, we rehabilitate existing ones, and also you maintain the existing network. A proper road network as part of infrastructure development benefits the whole society socially and economically through trade facilitation and improvement of movement of goods and services. This is part of a government initiative to reduce gridlock and lower the cost of doing business in the country. Given Outer Ring Road's location, it caters to 60% of the city dwellers with 40,000 cars on the road daily. Close to 50 million shillings is lost daily due to the traffic gridlock. Eastlands is where we have most population of Nairobi and high density. And one of the benefits of, the, of this project is that this way we'll have easy access to town. And also now for the people coming from other parts of Nairobi to go to the airport, they'll be able to go to the airport within a very short time. The project is therefore set to transform Eastlands. How? Can you imagine? Once complete, covering the distance between Ruaraka and Jomo Kenyatta International Airport shall take only 11 minutes. Today, it is possible that you can travel within uh, 10 to 15 minutes to get to your destination. And that is a very, very big achievement for the Kenyan Urban Roads Authority. The Outering Road project is poised to increase accessibility to areas along the route, thereby changing lives through improved welfare, greater security, enhanced road safety and increased infrastructure development. This is evidenced by future developments of other services that will come about as a result of the project like the proposed Kangundo Road Market, which shall supply fresh produce to the city, to health centres and children's safety parks. Although we call it children traffic park, but it's mainly a traffic park where we can educate our people on the use of the road and the safe use of this road. The 13-kilometer stretch involves 10 footbridges, service roads, grade-separated intersections and non-motorized traffic. The government has also upgraded the road network along and around the Outering Road in order to blend with its new status. Youth in the area have also been incorporated in this project with over 400 of them acquiring life skills through training. I'm sponsored by Kenyan Urban Road Authority, Matuakura. Ndoa kusimamia mpaka hii masomo yote na mpaka machine tofauti hapa. Na ni machine sita hapa nimeweza kufunzwa ikiwa hemo excavator, grinder, roller. With the due date fast approaching, the team had to overcome various challenges in order to deliver on time. The main challenge because of the congestion, you know there are a lot of traders doing doing businesses along the road and we have also had the water pipelines. Then we have also the petroleum pipeline which we had uh, to relocate. Bringing this up has been a, a structural challenge because you have to deal with all the things that have been underground and uh, get, getting rid of that, clearing that space and bringing up, bringing up the road. While at the same time making sure that people are still being able to circulate along the road to access their premises, to access their houses. Uh, that has been an exciting challenge. It's very encouraging to see that we have many more women engineers coming up and working on this milestone project that we're seeing happening all around the country. So, I think for the project, because of the, its location, we have had to work with all the associations along that road in clearing and getting the things to work within that road. Because the service road is, in some sections is not finished. Where they are stopping on the main carriageway, they just stop and drop and go, not park. We have also now have a program to engage the public, the people along the corridor, on the usage of this road. Because the way it is, is that the main carriageway is designed for express, the expressway. And then we are going to provide facilities for the pedestrians to walk and cross. So we are calling upon them that they will obey uh, the signs that will be put and follow the, the signages and the traffic uh, controllers will be on the road so that we can have a safe road. 
according to our program and discussions, we are, we are going to finish by July. Three years down the line, the vision is clearer and the targets are in sight. The transformational Outering Road project is due to be completed in a few months. It will definitely be a game changer, thus ushering in a new beginning for Eastlands and Nairobi, the country and the region as a whole.